tonight at 6. This prosperity televangelist, Channel 9, investigated for years. I'm going to urge you to place this on your bank card. Now guilty of cheating on his taxes. What would you want to say to your followers? He'll go from luxury cars and a lavish home to a jumpsuit and a prison cell. There was a substantial amount of damning information. Ferraris, Maseratis, and a million-dollar home all laid out in Channel 9 investigations over the past five years. Well, federal agents used our investigations almost like a roadmap to make their case against Todd Koontz. And today, we were the only station in federal court as a jury found him guilty on all charges. Eyewitness News reporter Glenn Counts is live there now to explain what this means for Koontz followers who donated the money, Glenn. Well, Brittany, they may take some satisfaction in that he is going to jail, but it's not because they gave him money. This case was all about ripping off the government. There have been questions raised about your lifestyle. And Dr. Todd How Koontz was not in a talking mood as he left the federal court. I'll say convicted, guilty man. You need a miracle from God. We here at Channel 9 have been investigating the prosperity gospel preacher for the past five years. At one time, he lived in a million-dollar condo here in Charlotte and drove around in a Ferrari, a Maserati, and several other expensive cars. What would you say to the people who believe in you? I have no comment at this time. During his four-day trial, the government argued that part of the reason Koontz was able to afford all the toys is because he cheated the IRS out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. The evidence was overwhelming. Kenneth Letts was the jury foreman. The defense argued that the pastor was not trying to deceive the government. But it wasn't intentional. It was just due to a, a series of miscommunications and misunderstandings and... Uh, Obviously, the jury felt otherwise. Are you concerned about uh, going to prison? Coates was convicted on all seven counts of income tax fraud. For those who might be disappointed in the way he aggressively sought donations... And you must respond now. That's we not what this minute. case was all about. Seconds. From a moral standpoint, we think it's a little goofy maybe to have some of those toys and maybe live a lavish lifestyle, but that's not... You're not guilty of anything there. Now, it will be several months before Koontz is sentenced. On the low end, he's looking at a couple of years in prison. Now, because he was a minister, he was allowed to travel overseas, but since he's been convicted, he will have to surrender his passport. Reporting live from the federal courthouse, Glenn Counts, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Glenn. Now, Koontz was known for his television ministry called Rock Wealth, where he promised financial blessings to the faithful. He said that the more money you donated, the more blessings you would receive. But in 2013, a Channel 9 investigation uncovered that he was paying for his lavish lifestyle using donations that people sent to his ministry. The condo and cars were all owned under the Rock Wealth Ministries name. Now, the Secret Service got involved after Channel 9's investigations. In fact, prosecutors used details we uncovered as they made their case to the federal grand jury last year. This has been one of the top stories on our website ever since the verdicts came down. Hello everybody, hope you guys are doing well. This is Laura coming to you today from The Last Days Ministries. Now today I want to talk to you about a guy called Todd Kuntz. And he's actually from Rockwell International Ministries. Now if you come over here you'll see that this, this fella is a, a total con artist. He um, is a word of faith teacher, which I've done on a video about this before, where they believe that there's power in your words and that if you speak something, it will come to pass. They also teach about tithing, that, um, that if you believe God, God's going to make you rich, okay? So here we have about Todd Kunz over here. And I'm just waiting for it now to um, come up. So, this is supposed to be a pastor, evangelist, television host, author, humanitarian, philanthropist, businessman are some of the words others use to describe Dr. Todd Kunz. So, I'm not going to read all of this, but as the founder and pastor of Dominion Family Worship Center in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, he proclaims the message of the gospel and the Great Commission to the body of Christ. No, he 
doesn't. He's a totally a false teacher. Now, some of you remember Todd Kunz in his um, earlier days. That's him there. And as he's getting older, you see he's getting much older now. But, um, so he has been arrested. Um, there was a story last year, and I'm going to read from this article here. Um, while you look at the video above there, you're going to see him talking about speaking the word and all this kind of stuff. But I'm just going to play that for you so you can see who I'm talking about. But this article came out yesterday so this is very much up to date and it discusses about how Todd Kuntz although he claims to be a pastor and all of these amazing stuff he's not qualified he is he has been arrested for tax fraud so let's just look at this and some of you may be saying oh but he's you know they doesn't have to pay anything because he's in you know in a religious uh, he's in a religion but the fact of the matter remains is that he has another couple of companies. Let's just have a look at this, okay? Worldly companies, obviously, because this man's not a man of God. He's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Jesus said in the last days that many false prophets will arise that will deceive the very elect if it were so possible. Remember, Jesus said you can either love God or love mammon. You can't love both. Okay, so here it says this, um, this was written um, by Lavendrick Smith, April 5th, 2018. Okay, so listen to this, guys. A former Charlotte area preacher was convicted of tax fraud by a federal jury on Thursday. William Todd Combs, 51, was in indicted last summer for failure to pay taxes and aiding and assisting in the filing of false tax returns. This was last summer. Okay. Federal prosecutors said Kuntz underreported his income by claiming certain items as business expenses for his quote-unquote ministry or one of his companies. He used substantial amounts of money from his business to pay for personal items, including more than $200,000 for clothes and $140,000 for meals. According to release from the U.S. Attorney's Office, Kuntz also claimed his 1.5 million condominium was a business expense, so give me a break, as well as luxury cars, including three BMWs, two Ferraris, a Maserati, and a Land Rover. Prosecutors said, he engaged in a check cashing scheme involved reimbursements for travel to speaking events. Kuntz would claim the travel as a business expense while pocketing the reimbursement as a personal income, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office. Kuntz concealed the reimbursement by having his assistant direct ministries to make checks payable directly to him. He would then cash the check and deposit in a bank account, the release states. From 2010 to 2013, Kuntz concealed and cashed 102 checks for reimbursements, speeches and book sales, totaling at least $252,000 according to the release. In 2014, he cashed at least 32 checks, totaling about $105,000, the release said. From 2000 to 2014, Kunz filed delinqu delinquent U.S. income tax returns with the IRS. The release states that he consistently, quote-unquote, consistently failed to make payments on time for taxes he owed, despite multiple notices from the IRS. Kuntz was Minister of Rock Wealth International Ministries from 2010 to 2014 and ran, okay, so here it goes, two for-profit companies, Legacy Media and Kuntz Investments and Insurance, according to a release. He also authored multiple books on faith and finances, including Please Don't Repo My Car, 
quote unquote, and breaking the spirit, to spanking the spirit of debt, quote unquote. Failing to pay taxes carries a minimum prison sentence of one year, one per, sorry, one year per count, while adding and assisting the filing of false tax returns has a minimum sentence of three years per count. So guys, there we have Mr. Todd Kunz, who claims to be a pastor and loves people, but he's all about the money. All right, you know, the Lord says this, out of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. You know, if you really love something, you're going to talk about it all the time. And if you love Jesus, you're going to want to talk about him all the time. All the time, praise God. But, um, so there we go with that. So, guys, you know, the scripture that comes to my mind right now is what you sow is what you will reap. If you sow to the flesh, you will reap of the flesh. And if you sow to the Spirit, you will reap from the Spirit. You know, I hope and I pray that this man does go to prison. And I hope and I pray that when he's in prison, that he will be convicted of his sin. That he'll have time to sit down and reason out his life. He's only this gentleman here. I'm going to be 50 in June and this gentleman is already 51. He's a little bit older than me and he really needs to sit down and think about his eternal soul. You know, and I just pray with all my heart that the Lord brings him to that point because God died for him as well. You know, um, so praise God for that. But, you know, I praise that, praise God that the Lord exposed Dr. Dodd Todd Kunz, I don't even think he's a doctor, but he's also involved with Benny Hinn. So you guys may be thinking, like I thought to myself, well, okay, Lord, you've exposed Todd Kunz and you've brought him into prison like you did with that false evangelist, Jimmy, Jim Baker, back in the 1980s, praise God. But unfortunately, Jim Baker <laughs> didn't make much of a change because he went back into the lying and deceiving and all of that but I just pray that this will really have an effect on this man's soul and um, because right now he's a wolf in sheep's clothing and you know what's very interesting to note is that even when he was <coughs> arrested he was still preaching on television asking people for money it, it just it's it blows my mind but guys we are supposed to pray for our enemies and do good to those who despitefully use us. So let's just pray for this man that he comes into the knowledge of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Um, because we are to pray for his soul because the Lord loves him. You know, we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and it is by grace through faith that we are saved, not of ourselves, lest no one should boast. So guys, that's all I have for you at the moment. Um, I pray that this has blessed you and has opened up your eyes. And I'll talk to you soon. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. And may the Lord let his light to shine upon you. And I'll talk to you super soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.